I had spent a year living on an island 75 miles away from civilization and I'd had enough. And at 13, I knew that I wanted to change and I knew that I needed to be around other kids my age. And so we, we looked into options of, of boarding school. We're gonna tunnel vision in on a few of the lessons that I learned living in the dorms that maybe other people who were living at home at the same time wouldn't have a chance to learn. There were kids in the dorms who were making the best of their situation. Maybe they didn't wanna be there, but they knew that this is it, right? This is what they had and they were gonna make the best of it. There were kids who were there who were absolutely miserable, who cried themselves to sleep every night, who uh, their perspective was, was ruining their chances of success. Your attitude can drive that perspective and your chances of success. If you didn't wake up early, you were one of the last guys to get to the bathroom, which meant that there was no hot water. If you just procrastinate five minutes, that five minutes could mean a cold shower that morning. When I first got to the dorms, it was seventh grade, I was 13, and I'm walking down the upstairs hallway, heel, toe, heel, toe, and it's just, I don't know this, but that heel, every time it hits, is reverberating downstairs. Up the stairwell, barrels this giant football player, um, and he comes over and he grabs me by the shirt and he puts me up against the wall and he says, I don't ever wanna hear you walking heel, toe again. And it was just amazing to me that, that such a small thing that I didn't even know I was doing was causing such a disruption to the people on the floor below me. Um, and, and now I realize that small changes in the intonation of your voice, body language, gestures, there's things that you could be doing that upset people that you don't even know you're doing. Living on the island, it was it was family style dinner. We would have food prepared and served to all of us. And when I went to the dorms, there's a cafeteria and a meal was almost an inconvenience. It wasn't a time to sit and socialize. And I knew when I had kids how important it was for me to be able to sit with them and have meals with them and have that time together. And it's been a priority. I, every day I'm home in time for us to have family dinner. We wake up in the morning and have family breakfast. The action of having time with them is the most important thing we can give. So the lessons that I learned at the dorm, all those lessons still come into play every day with the work that I'm doing now as a grown up.